Jesus. Bible says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all, everything that is within me, bless his holy name. Go ahead and bless his name. Go ahead and bless his name. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Matchless love and beauty, endless worth. Son of my head. For nothing in this world can satisfy Jesus, your that won't run dry. Hey, who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? 
matchless love to the endless work for nothing in this world nothing in this world not even my money nothing in this world can satisfy <laughs> not even the cars can satisfy Jesus you're the cup Jesus you're the cup that I'm trying to dry <laughs> Nelly Gray Ibu Eze Neluba Ina Chachi Jesus Nalamo Hey Ibu Dike Na Hey Jehovah Hey Ide Bube You're not a man oh. You're not a man You're the God who opens doors No man can shut Jesus, you're not a man oh. You're not a man You're the God of everything No one like you So we declare no one like you, Jesus. No one like you. Hey, Shanama. No one like you. Are we my <laughs> No one like you. Hey, I'm such and such. No one like you. Nobody like you. Not even my mother. Not even my father. Hey, hey, hey yeah. You're the God of everything. No one like you. Okbello yo. Papa lore. Yo go ye. Allahu akbar. Hosanna ye. Ashana ma. Ashe yo papa. Papelo ye o Papa lo e Io go ye o Allahu aba Hosanna ye o Ashe o papa Tani wo to be gao Bikoshe babalo Tani wo to fi bobo Obeni fo Let the church scream and say Allorun Toda wan Ote ki Dani Eri Everybody say, Because we bless your name, Jesus. Turning home to people, or bad say, Oh, Lauren, oh, Lauren. Lauren, so that I want to open it, darling. And you need more feet. Open them and be food. Now think of the things that the Lord has done for you. And bless his name. And bless his name. We bless your name, Jesus. Just open up your mouth and worship him. Give him the fruit of your leaves. <laughs> Give him the fruit of leaves. Give him the fruit of your leaves. You are the God who was who is and needs to come. Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. And in you I trust my life, my future is in your hands. Oh God, hey, Jesus, you are the miracle working God. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. God is too good. Oh. God, you're too good. Oh, too good. Oh. God is too good. Oh. Hey. Hey, 
Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah, eh. Say, he's the sound of peace. Everybody's breathing. Say, Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah. Say, let us down. Let us down. Let us down. Everybody's breathing. Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah, oh. To the great of mighty God, oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah, oh. Say, let us down. Let us down. Oh, great choice beauty. Say, he has made a way. He has made a way. When there was no way. When there was no way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, eh. He's a sound of revival. <laughs> Hallelujah, hey. Hallelujah, hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah, hey. Let the sound of rejoicing be. Now we're going to chant to the Holy Ghost. Say, say. Hey, ya, ya. Hey, ya, ya. Hey, ya, ya. Hey, ya. Everybody. Hey, ya, ya. Hey, ya, ya. Hey, ya, ya. Lift your voice and shout to the Hey, ya, ya. I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you, Jesus. I never see any God like you. You are the way making God. You're the Alpha and Omega. I never see any God like you. Everybody in the house, help me say. Never seen any God like you. Never seen. I never seen any God like you. I've touched and touched. I never seen any God like you. Yeah. I never seen any God like you. I never seen any God like you. Heaven and on earth. I've never seen any God like you. I've never seen any God like you. Hey, say, only you can do what no man can do. Jehovah, only you can do what no man can do. Lift your voice, say, only you can follow every situation around. Papa, oh, only you can do what no man can do. Say, only you can do, Jesus, what no man can do. Jehovah, only Jehovah, Nisi, Jehovah, Rafa. Only you, Jesus. Only you, God. Only you, Jesus. Only you. Only you. Only you. Hey, say, only you can do what no man can do. Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do. Say, only you can turn on every situation around my Savior. Jesus. 
Only you got it. Only you got it. Only you, Jesus. Only you. Only you. Only you. Only you. Only you. One time. Only you can change any situation, Jehovah. Hey, hey, yeah. Only you can change. One man can do. Jesus. Only you can do. What no man can do, Baba. Oh, oh. Only you can do what no man can do. Come and tell me the Holy Ghost. Your victory is sure. Rejoice in the Holy Ghost. Rejoice in the Holy Ghost. God is about to do a new thing. Hey, hey. He's about to turn our situations around. One more time. We've come to bless your name, Jesus. There is nothing too hard for our God to do. Hey. One more time. Hey. hey. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Hey. Say, Jesus, you love me too. Everybody say. Jesus, you battle me too much. Everybody scream it. Too much hey, too much oh, your love. Say, your love is kind. Your love is kind. Everybody scream it. Say, your love is patient. Jesus, you feel my heart. Oh. You With so much peace and joy. With so much peace and hey. joy. We say, you're amazing. You're amazing. You make my life so oh good. Hey, everybody say, you're amazing, Jesus. You're amazing. You make my life so oh good. Hey, hey. You love me too. Everybody screaming. Too much excess love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Jesus, you love me too much. Everybody screaming. Too much love. Too much love. Hey, say, your love is amazing. Your love, your love is amazing. It's amazing, you're great, it's amazing, you're great, it's amazing, you're great, it's amazing, you're great, you're great, you're amazing, you're amazing, in everything you do, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing. You're amazing, oh, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're perfect in all you do, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing, hey, Jesus, you love me too, everybody screaming, do my job, accept my love. Hey, say thank you for loving me too much, unconditionally. Thank you for loving me too much. Hey, you died on the cross for me. Hey, too much. Hey, 
thank you for loving me too much. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you for loving me too much. With our hands lifted up, we are grateful, Jesus. Thank you for loving me too much. Oh. With a grateful heart, we sing. Thank you for loving me too much. Oh. You died on the cross for me. You paid for my sins, Jesus. For loving me, God. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, Jesus. I'm so grateful, Lord. Thank you for loving me too much. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my what a beautiful name it is, so oh. nothing can stand against. What a beautiful name it is, the name of... Can I hear the congregation sing it? What a beautiful name. Sing it to your maker. The name... Sing like you mean it. Nothing compares. Not even my mother. <laughs> hey, yeah. The name. Lift it up, so what a beautiful name. Much less name it is. Powerful name it is. Name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, my King, who died on the cross. What a beautiful name. Nothing can stand against. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. All the overwhelming, never Reckless love of God. Oh, he chases me down, fights till I'm found. Leaves the night and night. I couldn't learn it. I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. <laughs> oh, be overwhelming. Never ending, reckless love. Oh, the oh, the overwhelming. Never Lift it up. the victory <laughs> I got us for the victory hey say no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me I shall no wall you will kick down lie you will see down coming after me no shadow you will light up, nothing you will climb up, coming out of me. No wall you will keep down, no wall you will keep down, no you will keep down, coming out of me. No more, no, no, no. No shadow you will light up, nothing you will climb up, coming out of me. 
Everybody say, <laughs> Oh Lord, sweet God, hey, no shot of you. super excited you need to hear some words again you need to hear some songs again listen to this we're singing about his love what then shall we see about these things if God is for us Who can be against us? If God, if God is for us, all you need is God on your side. If God, if God, if God is for us, I got peace. If God is on my side, if God is for me, nothing moves me. Then I become afraid if God is not on my side. Then I become to be fidgeting if God is on my side. If God is not on my side. I begin to worry if God is not on my side. I begin to cry if I'm not sure if God is on my side. But if God, if God, in whatever I'm, I'm going through, if God is on my side, in whatever I'm going through, if God is just on my side, it doesn't matter what I'm going through. All I got to know is God is on my side. If God is on my side, if God is on my side, if God is for me, who can be against me? I mean, the love is too much. He did not spare Jesus to prove that he's on my side. Now, I will give you anything just to prove to you that I'm on your side. I'm giving you Jesus. There's some battles we can never win. There's some fights we can never win. There's some struggles we can never win. But Jesus won them for us. And he went to the cross. And he won them for us. No wonder he said, Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will trouble. Whatever trouble you are going through is not enough. Distress. Persecution. Famine. 
nakedness, danger, sword. In all these things, we have complete victory through Jesus. I am convinced neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor heavenly rulers, nor things that are present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate me from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Nothing. God is for me. He's given me the victory. He's given me the victory. He's given me the victory. Do you think your life has no meaning? Man, listen to this. Listen to this. If you think your life has no meaning, if you're confused, the book of Colossians chapter 1, in verse 17, it said, Jesus holds everything together. <laughs> he holds everything together. You think your life is scattered? It's not scattered. He's holding it together. He's held your life together, man. Fear for nothing. The victory is ours. Your business is not working. Don't worry. If only God is for you, he's holding it together. He's holding it together. He's holding it together. No wonder Paul wrote to the Philippians, be anxious for nothing. Why? Because Jesus got it together. Be anxious for nothing. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. He's got it together. You don't have food in your pantry. Forget about it. He's got it together. Money's not coming in. Forget about it. He's got it together. He holds everything. The Bible said everything consists in him. Oh, man. Fear for nothing. So I'm no longer slave to fear. I am a child of God. Sing it. I'm no longer slave to fear. I am a child of God. Sing it to your soul. I'm no longer slave to fear. Sing it to your spirit. I am a child of God. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave to fear. Oh, I am a child of God. Fear for nothing. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Three guys came and they said, every time they blow the horn, everybody should bow to the statue. And these three guys, they said, we are not bowing down. And they blew the horn and they still did not bow. Hallelujah. And they told the king in the book of Daniel that these guys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they refused to bow. The king loved them so much and he gave them one more chance. Because he loves them so much. He said, guys, I will give you an opportunity if they bow, if they blow the trumpet. You guys just do what? Bow. And he said, guy, we don't care about you. We don't care about your statue. We don't care about the consequences of our not bowing. Even if God that we serve chooses not to deliver us, we will still not bow. And this is the confidence that men have when they know they are God. That even when God says no to their prayer request, they know that it's going to turn out good. Did you get it? Because God will always show forth his glory. They are so confident that whatever, even if God says no ten times, at the end of the day, it's going to come out for God's glory. And the king was infuriated. He said, hit up the fire seven times more. 
A, and they did. And the guys that were taking them into the fire, they were the ones dying. They were the ones dying. And these guys, they were thrown into the fire. Oh, I'm no longer slave to fear. I'm no, I'm no longer slave to fear. I am a child of God. And they threw these guys into the fire. And the king came. And the king saw four people. Listen to me. These four people, they were moving in the fire. Do you understand what I'm saying? They were walking up and down and they were existing. If you're a child of God and you really know that God is for you, it doesn't matter whatever things you are going through, you will still be smiling. Because whatever fire you are going through is not enough to bring you down. They were not whining that, hey, whoa, chineke, mo, this kind of fire. So, in the fire, they were still moving up and down. Child of God, if God is for you, even when you are passing through the waters, you will be bouncing. Because you are not alone. You are not alone. If God be for us, not even the fire, man. Not on the fire. And the king said, were there not three? How be it? I see one. Everybody, even principalities and powers, know Jesus when they see him. When they see Jesus, they know. When he spoke to Saul, Saul called him Lord. He has never spoken to Saul before. But Saul knew that this voice is a different one. He said, Lord, Lord, Lord. He called him Lord. If Jesus appears in your life, people will know. That Jesus is moving with you. They will know that you are not alone. Even in the trouble, you are not alone. Child of God, the victory is ours. The victory is ours. I'm no longer slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no listen to me. What's your fear today? Hallelujah. What's the fear today? You believe in God for work? You believe in God for a house? You believe in God for your school fees? You believe in God for whatever? Don't let it get to you. Never walk alone. Hallelujah. Never walk alone. You will get burned if you are alone. There is a covering that Jesus gives you, even in the trouble. So, Jesus is in the mix, the fire. My people say, when a dog is rabid, hmm? you know rabid dog, it does not know anybody. Even the owner of the dog, the rabid dog bites it. But the Bible said, when, uh, no, not Bible now, my people say, when the rabid dog sees fire, rabid dog calms down. Jesus is fire. The fire that consumes fire. The Bible said in the daytime, in the daytime, it was noontime, when the sun is at peak, his glory blinded the sunlight that Saul couldn't see, everybody couldn't see. Fire that catches fire. Our God is a consuming fire. Fire pass fire. So Jesus had to step into the fire because he's the fire that consumes fire. And that fire couldn't consume those boys. And the king said, let them come out. When they brought them out, they didn't see Jesus again. 
He has finished the assignment. And they said, they were not even smelling smoke. They were not smelling smoke. He will not abandon you until the job is done. Did you hear me? He will never allow you to be brought to shame. He will never abandon you till the job is done. He will never. He doesn't start a thing and he says, let us, let us finish it next year. No. Today, he's won the victory. It doesn't matter what you are going through today. The victory is settled. Hallelujah. The victory is settled. Let no fear into your heart. Let no doubt into your heart. The question is, is God with me? Hallelujah. If he's not with you, you will suffer loss. I'm telling you the truth. You will suffer loss. The consequences are grave when we are alone. It is terrible when we move alone. Invite Jesus into your life so that you can appropriate the victory on the cross. And you can say boldly, I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer, I'm no longer slain to fear. I am a child of God. My last line with us today. It's still the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 17. From verse 15 to 20, it tells, tells us about the supremacy of Jesus. Jesus is before all things. And all things are held together in him. Your life is not going to scatter. Your life has a meaning. And you are not alone. God bless you. We can have our seats. Good morning, church. It's time for us to give our offering to the Lord. For as many of us that believe that we have that victory in Christ, that we are no longer slaves to fear, as many of us have been encouraged by a reminder of God's words to us. I want us to be on our feet as we give to God, as we show him love, as we bless him for how he has kept us, for how he has promised to keep us, and for the greater things ahead for us in Christ Jesus. Choir, please. Offerings and tithes. Hallelujah. I'm free indeed, in Christ I'm free indeed, no chains are holding me, that's who I chose to be, I'm free indeed, in Christ I'm free no chains are holding me, that's who I chose to be.
privilege to have given to you, for the privilege to express our love to you through the substance of our hands. Lord, we ask that you bless every hand that has given. For every heart that has also given, Lord, we ask that you bless. And Father, by the reason of this offering, Lord, we claim and believe in you for that victory that we have. We, dis we acknowledge that no more shall fear hold us down in every aspect of our life because you, in you, everything consists. In you, everything is held together. And Lord, we ask that you accept this offering as a sweet-smelling savour. May it be used for the furtherance of your work here on earth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May we have a seat, please. Okay, we want us to listen to the following announcement. But before we do that, I don't know if anyone is worshipping with us for the very first time on a Sunday morning like this. If we have such a person, kindly show. Shall we go on our place to praise the Lord? This Let's is this God. We are one love. Church of God Parish, the King Scott Parish. It's a youth parish, and um, today is one of our special Sundays, the Wonders of Worship Sunday. Just in case you're wondering, that is a bit unusual, our mode of service. This happens every third Sunday. And we welcome you to join us if you are here to stay. If you're, well, if you're passing by, we hope you'll come and worship with us next time. Our service days remain Sundays, 8 a.m and Wednesdays by 6 p.m. Praise the Lord. After the service, kindly come to this front row. Somebody will come to speak with you and uh, pray with you. Praise the Lord. Enjoy today's service. We've enjoyed worshiping the Lord. We've enjoyed the releases from heaven upon our life. So this Friday, the men will be meeting in church. Praise the Lord. Men's fellowship. Men, praise the Lord. Okay. Oh. They are meeting this Friday by 6 to 7 p.m. here in the church auditorium. That's 25th of March, 2022. Maybe they are meeting to support us, you know, because something is coming up. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, We're going to have a special program, a quarter special program. And this will take place in the next couple of weekends, 2nd and 3rd of April. We'll be, our program will be our invited guest, our special guest will be Pastor Israel David. And the topic will be in line with our vision for this year. Who remembers our vision? Who remembers our vision? And it's been on every flyout. Every e-flyer is crested there so that by the time you're seeing it every time, it sinks in. Excelling through knowledge. Please just look at your phone again. Look at that e-flyer. You'll see it there. So that will be our topic and the theme for this special program. On Saturday will be prayers and ministration. And then on Sunday morning, there will be a wrap-up of the program. Our guest minister, like I said, is um, Pastor Israel David. So let's prayerfully prepare for those two days in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to say a very big thank you to the youth or the youth that should be thanking us. You know, we thank them as they thank us for the wonderful program they held on Friday, the movie night, ice cream and popcorn very plenty. So we want to bless God for that. The Carpenters Union, they had a successful program and we believe God that there will be more of this, that God will keep adding to their number. They will keep going from strength to strength in the mighty name of Jesus. 
This Wednesday, we'll be having a communion service in our midweek service. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today is Sunday, so you have Monday, Tuesday to prepare and Wednesday. So the topic is that I may know him. That I may know him. Remember, we are still talking about excelling through knowledge. So the communion service this midweek will be focusing on that I may know him. Also prepare to be there in Jesus' name. We have a couples meeting. Praise the Lord. Couples, praise the Lord. This next couples meeting will be holding at the church venue on April 3rd by 5.30 p.m. In the evening, 5.30 p.m. And it's a very wonderful topic that says setting healthy boundaries in relationship with the opposite sex. Setting healthy boundaries in relationship with the opposite sex. And our guest ministers will be none other than the Oyekolas, Cindy Skate, in case you don't know the name. Praise the Lord. Please, 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 I want us to prepare for this meeting. I want us to prepare. It's a very vital topic. It's a topic that has actually um, been a source of worries to some couples, to some homes that have brought about issues in the family. So please, let us prepare. Setting healthy boundaries in relationship with the opposite sex. 5.30 p.m. on April 3rd here in the church auditorium. Praise the Lord. Next Sunday... Praise the Lord. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. You can see our e-flyer on the screen. Next Sunday is our Mother's Day 2022. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord has kept us, the women and the King Scots, for another one year. And we are celebrating our Mother's Day next Sunday, 27th March. So we enjoin you to come and thank the Lord, to come and worship, to come and have fellowship with us on that day. It promises to be, you know, lots of fun, ministration, spiritual ministration, physical ministration, any form of ministration you are going to get it on that day. Praise the Lord. So please, let's encourage our mothers by being here, invite people, and let's worship the Lord together. In line with that, all women should wait briefly after service for a brief meeting praise the lord finally before the pastor comes up um, we are advised to avoid unnecessary movements in the church please let's avoid unnecessary movements especially when the message is going on if you need to take anything see your children package offering just try and coordinate so that we'll have um, a bit of um, organization while service goes on thank you Praise the Lord. Um, this is the best place to be in, in God's presence because anything can happen. Praise the Lord. You might think we are, things are happening. Praise the Lord. He's sorting out issues. The Spirit is moving in our midst. God is healing people. He's restoring people. He's giving people strength. He's giving people hope. Things are happening. So never take the gathering of God's children for life. It's not a common place. Praise the Lord. Is it, is it not church? No, it's not church. It's not just church. It's not just, it's more than a building. It's more than us. If you know the people that are around, you will know that we have an advantage. Praise the Lord. We are an advantaged people. We are not just ordinary people. Praise the Lord. And I want us to have this knowledge. In line with our theme this year. Have what? Knowledge. When you know, then you appropriate. Then you benefit from the appropriation. Praise the Lord. One of the um, sessions in the church service which you always look forward to is benediction. You know, we always think benediction is, you know, the last part. You just share grace and go. No. Benediction is a serious issue. And God knows that his children need it. Because something should go ahead of you. 
Praise the Lord. Before you start the journey. So when we say we want to share the grace, you know, you know, we just say, oh yeah, let us share the grace. With the grace of our Lord, when we are not expecting anything. No. It's one of the sweetest parts of service. When we share benediction, it's a pronouncement. When Jacob was about to die, the Bible said he called, I think it's Genesis 49, I don't know one of those Genesis. The Bible said he called all his children and he gave his benediction. The benediction is things that will happen in the future. Reuben's own was bad. Thank God that Moses came. Another higher authority that canceled it for him. Praise the Lord. So when we say the benediction, let it sink in. Do you get it? And say amen to it. Because it is going ahead of you. So when I say to you that this week shall prosper you, say amen. When I say to you, every day of this week shall work for you, say amen. When I say everything this week will support you, say amen. amen. When I say women will work for you, say amen. amen. Men will bless you, say amen. amen. Doors will open unto you, say amen. amen. Kingdoms will arise to support you, say amen. amen. Your children shall excel, say amen. amen. No evil shall come near your dwelling, say amen. amen. The Lord will bless your blood. The Lord will bless your water. The Lord will bless your finance. In the mighty name of Jesus, the glory of the Lord will be revealed over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Let's stand up and share the grace of fellowship.